Hey, Laura. Hi, how are you, Elvis? I'm good, thanks, and you? I'm great. I'm very happy to have you here today. So uh, we just had a radio interview, and it was amazing. And in French. Uh, yeah, in <laughs> French, which is, which is crazy, man. You, you're originally from Montreal. I'm from Montreal, yeah, but I'm very Anglophone, so my <laughs> French is, is a little poor. But I, I practice, that was good. Okay, which is why you actually sing in, in English. Yes, I do sing in English. I, I, I mostly write in English, which is why I sing in English. And uh, right in the studio, you were playing, like for, for me, uh, you, one of your new songs, the one that yeah. will appear on your album. Yeah, Loverboy. Loverboy. Yeah, can it's you, officially can... on the album. <laughs> I, I, li I, I mean, I love it. Thank I mean, it's you. crazy. And can you tell me how you decided to create that song? That song was in a writing camp with uh, the Songwriters Association with, of Canada. Okay. And we were in a room. It was me, um, Ahi, and Adam Royce. And. We were trying to write a song, and we kind of had a little bit of writer's block, and then we're just like, let's write a fun sex song. <laughs> so we did. And it's one of my favorite songs, actually. It's really groovy and just carefree and fun. So how many titles are you going to have on the, on the album? I'm hoping for 10 to 12. Okay, 10 yeah. to 12. I have three songs finalized right now. Um, Lover Boy, Best of Me, my single that's out right now on iTunes and Spotify, and you name it, it's everywhere. <laughs> and... Uh, a song called Can't Quit You that I just did vocals for recently too. Okay. And it's very interesting because you always, do you always write about love and maybe sex? <laughs> Not usually about sex, usually about love. Um, it's usually about uh, what I'm going through at the time, relationships, maybe like an experience that I need to just like, it's like therapy to me writing. So I usually, if I'm feeling down, it's when I'll, that's when I'll write the most, I think. Um, so. If I'm upset about something or if I'm really happy or something about something, I kind of express myself through song. So I feel like relationships tend to peak those emotions in you the best. So that's why I write about them. And everyone can relate to relationships too. So it's fun to relate to people and have people listen to your music and understand what you're saying. Okay, good. And how, how can you define your music? Because you, you do pop, you do R&B, you also do a bit I of rap. I, I, I don't, don't think rap. people no, know no. that. I don't Do rap. They? Are you crazy? <laughs> you, you rap. You rap. But, but how do you freestyle. define? <laughs> yeah, you're freestyle. <laughs> but how do you um, define your music? Well, I write for different artists in all different genres. I mean, even some of my music seems a little bit more country. I feel like I don't try to write in a certain genre. I just write the song and then see where it kind of sounds. Um, the album's going to be most, it's going to be more of a pop album, more of a fun mess pop like synth sounds and pop grooves and mostly about love probably um <laughs> but when i write for other artists it really depends on the project i've written for country projects and rap and r&b hooks and uh, hip-hop and indie acoustic i used to do a lot of pop rock when i was younger so okay. i mean i write whatever the project calls for but my my project right now is very pop very very pop okay and i know you're still in the process of writing some yeah. of the songs but when can we expect the album? Well, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully by the end of the year. Okay. Yeah, that would be my goal. Okay, by I, the end I, of I the mean, year. I've written so many songs. I like. I think I just need to choose what's going on it now. But I never stop writing, so okay. this could be a long process. Okay. And my last question, or one of my last questions, you're originally from Montreal. Yes. But now you live in Toronto. Yeah, Why? I moved to Toronto. Um, for me, I have a lot of my contacts here. A producer that I work. Uh, closely with that did my track best of me and is working on me with the albums here and I wanted to focus on my music full time and Toronto's kind of like the Hollywood of Canada for music so <laughs> definitely so I figured I'd make I'd make the move and now I do my music full time I gig around Toronto and the GTA and I'm having a blast okay and the last question you have I think you have a show coming I have right? a show yeah I have tons of shows uh, the next one is at Whale Bar uh, 996 Queen Street East this Thursday. The show starts at 9 and I'm on at 11. Okay. Yeah, so February I, 9th. So if I get there at 11, I'll, I'll be able to see you. Yeah, but come early and hang out because <laughs> I'm fun to be around. <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Laura. <laughs> it was very nice to have you here in the studio. It was super nice to meet you. Thank you so much. You're, You're welcome. And uh, I wish you all the best and all the luck for your career. Thank you. Thank you. So sweet. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.